Okay, so the Bible says in Luke chapter 21, verse 34, Take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting, or basically carousing, and drunkenness, and the cares of this life, so that the day so that day does not come on you unaware. Brothers and sisters, look what it's saying. He says, take heed to yourself. Take heed to yourself. Take heed to yourself that you're not so caught up with the daily activities and the day-to-day -day life and the cares of this life that you're distracted. Don't get distracted. Do not get distracted from God's word. Do not get distracted from prayer and from um, intimacy with Christ and from the days that we're living in now and getting distracted and blinded from the return of Christ, our bride or, or our bridegroom, the one who we're going to be with for eternity. Get your mind focused and fixed and fixed on eternity and fixed and, and focused. And there's another word I'm looking for and centered and trained on Christ. On, and, on, and, on the fact that we're going to be with him and what's to come, the marriage supper of the lamb and greater things in this world. Don't get so distracted with this world because everything around us is trying to distract us. And just the simple daily things of life can distract us and keep us focused on earth and the things of earth and the cares of and the day to day bills and work and simple things like that. And um, really in the big perspective and the bigger picture, this life and this world is just a little piece of dust. The, the problems that people worry about, the problems that I'm sure you you might be worried about and think about and so much and care about so much and so distracted by, it, it, it's really nothing. It's really nothing. It's, it's kibbles and bits compared to eternity. It means absolutely nothing. At the end of the day, it has no... It has no eternal value. The things in this world have no eternal value. The only thing that has value for eternity is our walk with God, how we please him. Remember Jesus, when he came out the water and the Holy Spirit came down like a dove and God said, um, he said, this is my beloved son who I'm well pleased. That's the only thing that matters. When we leave, the, leave this world, the only thing that will matter is will God be able to say about his daughter? His son, you, will he be able to say about you with a big smile on his face, arms wide open and, and show everybody and say, this is my beloved daughter who lived for me, who lived, look at their heart. And he's going to, he looks at our hearts and he's going to be able to show our hearts to people and say, look at, look at her, look at his heart. The whole time he was in this, in the world living, he, he wasn't focused. He wasn't living for the world. She wasn't living for the world. She was living for me. He was living for me. His whole goal, his whole aim in life was to make me happy, to, to please me, to, um, to bring me joy. That's what we want God, that's what we want our Father in heaven to say. But brothers and sisters, I'm going to read it one more time. I just have to. Take heed to yourselves that any time your hearts be overwhelmed with all these things. Take heed to yourself. Take heed. This is, a, this is what Jesus said. He said this. Take heed. Take heed. Watch out. Be careful. Be on guard of your mind. Watch what goes in your eye gate, your ear gate. Watch what you speak because this life is more than just this machine that we're in, this um, flesh and bones, meat, blood and bones. It's more than this. It's our spirit. It's life. And um, be careful. Be careful. Take the words of Jesus very serious. He said, be careful. Take heed to yourselves. Take heed to yourselves. So thinking when you and focus, the only thing you should be focusing on, the only thing that thing you should take seriously in this life. Yes, enjoy this life and do the things that are here and get things done as needed. But the only thing that you should take serious in this life, like what I had already mentioned about pleasing God, but right now is, um, you know, if is praying is any are these things in this life distracting you and pulling you away from praying? Take heed to yourself that uh, these things in this life, even the daily activities, daily things does not take you away from prayer and devotion to Jesus. Not just not just because prayer is communication with God, but devotion, simple devotion, a heart devoted to God, a heart devoted to God. And thing that like I was trying to like I was trying to say is the only thing that you should take seriously is 
is devotion to Jesus and living living day to day, every single day. Like when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is I pray and I talk to Jesus. I tell him, you know, how beautiful he is and how much I want to please him and how I want to want to. And he shows me a verse and I go in the scripture and I open up a verse and I meditate. I try to meditate at, meditate on that verse through the day. And uh, but before I do that, when I pray, then I, I, I'm quiet and I listen to Jesus. I try to listen to God and I ask him to speak to my heart and I ask him to give me his wisdom because out, apart from his wisdom, it's, it's foolishness. So if we do something that's apart from his wisdom, if we do something that's apart from what he's spoken, if we do something that's apart from what uh, he's advised us, it's it's foolish. It's foolishness. So. Take heed, be on guard and be watchful, be watchful, watch, watch, watch that the cares of this life do not consume you and overtake you. That it pushes out and it shoves out the, your devotion, your love for God, your love, your your time spent with Jesus, your um, your desire for him and your attention on him. Keep your main attention, your main attention. Let your main attention be on Jesus. Let your main attention be on the things of eternal life. He says in verse 36, verse 35, For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the earth. The day of Christ, when Jesus comes back, it'll be a snare. Yeah, yeah. If we're distracted, if you're distracted, brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. When Jesus comes back, it's going to catch you by surprise. If you're distracted by the things of this world and the cares of this world and the things and all kind of, um, you know, just eating, just indulged in eating and drinking and working and doing all these things and your mind is so fixed on this world and the cares of this life, as Jesus said, then when he comes back, you will immediately have regret. Immediately. You'll regret being so, uh, having all of your attention here. And turning your eyes off of God. He says, again, this is what Jesus says again in verse 36. He says, watch you therefore and pray always. And that's what I just said, right? The main thing should be pray. And prayer isn't just your talking. It's a heart open to God to always want to communicate with him. And always having your heart open to hear him. And listen to him while, while you're working, while you're driving, while you're in the bathroom. Always having your heart open to hear what he has to say. Jesus, what do you want to say? Always be willing to receive his words and, and speaking to him. It's a it's a, a mutual thing. Watch you, therefore, and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things which will come on, come to pass and to stand before the son of man. Be worthy to escape these things that are coming. In this world, well, that's now we have to escape these things now in our mind. We have to escape these things now in our hearts. The thing that the world is 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 constantly bombarding our mind with, the distractions of daily life, the things that aren't even sinful, sinful, just the needs of daily life. It's the advertisements and everything around us. And we didn't even get to the simple sinful stuff, but the things of daily life that are distracting us. Make sure you're not distracted. Believe God's word and follow him and listen to him. Make sure you're not distracted because it adds everywhere. You need this. You need this food. You need this. You need that. You need these clothes. You need this. Yeah, we need we need those things. But when they become overwhelmed and we, and we keep our minds so much on that, then there we go again. We're wavering. Jesus said, I'm the way. Then we wave off the we get distracted off of the way. Don't be distracted. So that's it. Take heed to yourselves. Think and be careful and watch. Watch. Be on guard. Because Satan is at work right now trying to steal all of Jesus' sheep, trying to steal all of us away from him. Watch the false prophets. Watch the signs of the times. Jesus is coming back soon. Be on guard. Protect your spirit. Protect your soul. And live for Christ every single day. Look to make him happy. If you don't know how, here you go. <laughs> the Gospels and the Epistles. There it is. And pray and ask God to make his words real in your heart. And Jesus will. He will. He's alive and he's real. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You will not regret any decision you make to follow Christ or that you do for him. But do it out of love for him. And sit at his feet. Be like Mary. Being wise. Listen. Take time and meditate. Listen. And he will show you the truth. In Jesus' name, 
God bless you. Don't be distracted. Time is short. Jesus is coming back.